This is uh, Jazz Badger BB here. Oh, sorry, that's me. Yeah, well, that's, that's you. Uh, <laughs> what am I? Swing, swing Squirrel. Swing, that was it. Yeah. Swing Squirrel Smith. That's really hard to say. Yeah. Um, uh, or David BB. And Dan Smith. <laughs> So what we're doing, Dan? What we're doing? We're not. We're out of guitar our headquarters, and we're yes. Uh, we're we're, we're going not in freestyle. Uh, Castle Quail. We're in the uh, the beehive. <laughs> we're in <laughs> the, the beehive. beehive. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it just so happens that me it's and BB shop. both have um, a victory head. Uh, mine is on the left here, the victory V forty, the cream duchess, and then BB's got the victory V thirty, the countess on the right. So we thought we'd do a little bit of. Um, sort of an AB kind of vibe. Not like a full review, but just kind of, just a bit of a play around really. Yeah, so, so I mean, yeah, I mean, originally, uh, what was your idea um, in buying the, the Victory? The I Victory? looked at this first, I looked at the V30 first, um, in Anderton's actually, with uh, Tom. Um, we went down to Leak Library headquarters uh, a while, about a year ago, I think. And uh, Anderton's being the only, I think, pretty much the only place that has in the UK. Yeah, yeah, in the UK. So, yeah. if you want to go and try one, that's pretty much the only place you can go to get hold of one, unless you know somebody that's got one. Um, so I was looking at this because it was all small, two channels, kind of everything I thought I thought I needed. Mm -hmm. um, and then we played this, but then they had the B forty N as well, so we tried them both, and. The V40 having um, reverb and just being a one-channel clean amp, it kind of just suited me a little bit, a little bit better. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got a little. Um, oh we're trying yeah. To figure out the best way of doing this. So we've got BB's pedal board and we've got a little AB switcher. So we're both going into the same pedal board, but only one of us is going to come out at any one time. So yeah. I don't really have. I mean, right now I have the power. But BB's got a foot switch, so. I can, I'm in control, I can shut him up any time I like. <laughs> <laughs> so this is... I'll turn the reverb off. Yeah, yeah. So this is just going... Is it, I don't think anything's on, is it? So uh, this is going... Yeah, my pedal, well, I'll go through the pedal board when we, when we play pedals through it the, a bit yeah, later yeah. on, but it's all off at the moment. So this is... Oh, we should, we should also just talk about this disgusting thing in on Dan's lap. Mm. I, don't, I don't know if you're going to get... Uh, to see it in all its glory. Maybe that oh, camera will pick it up. Here, just, so. Yeah, turn it to that camera there, yeah. That's that's the new baby. This had this less less than a week old. Yeah. I believe I got it on Fri Friday, I think, last week. So quick shout out, what is it? Oh yeah, Fibonari Erotic. Um, yeah, the guys at Fibonari that knocked this, knocked this up for me. I've chosen pretty much everything on this. <coughs> the, uh, I had an idea for the inlays that I wanted. Um, and it just so happened that they had one lying around, made from the same wood that I wanted, and pretty much the exact inlays that I was asking for. So it's HSS sort of super strat trim, basically, isn't it? That kind yep. of got dirt job. So super strat kind of vibe. Um, the little uh, volume tone, the little sort of trick switch here, which is um, so for the standard standard humbucker full, and then one way is split. So you go down to single coil, and then the other way is either series or parallel. I'm never quite sure which one's which with that kind of stuff. That is oh. one of my uh, knowledge ends. Uh, but yeah, I'm yeah. enjoying having the uh, the trem again. And it's, I'm doing uh, just with a it's a very super strapped time the thing HSS uh, with my Sir Classic Pro. Awesome. Um, so yeah, so what we're saying with the uh, reverb is off currently. Yeah, yeah. reverb is off. Built-in yeah. reverb, uh, digital. The uh, the EQ is just. Noon, flat, yeah. So we've got uh, volume on the left, and then a master on the right. I don't tend, just because of the band I'm in at the minute, I don't tend to really crank the volume to push the amp and then use the master for that kind of bluesy thing. Mm -hmm. um, I imagine if you if you get a strat and do crank the volume and then sort of work the master a bit and then you maybe have something like a overdrive pedal or like a little tumnus thing just pushing it, you get some really nice stuff. But I pretty much just run it clean and then put pedals into it. Um, so this is just straight in. Cool. 
Um, the vice switch, so it's on vice two at the minute. Switch to vice one. A bit kind of, a little bit darker. It's almost like, is it top and bottom there? And then is it, is it the, does voice two a bit more mid to it? Yes. Like that. It feels like it pushes the mid a bit. Yeah, yeah. And there is, there is also a mid kick switch here as well. So I'll take that off. Oh, and press it. Um, so we're on voice one. So. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, so at, at the moment you've got it all at noon, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. All the just set, set to noon. But how would does, you normally? It does kick out quite a bit of bass. Yeah. This cab as well is is also quite large um, and basic. Even with the the one twelve that I have, the little port city, that um, I actually used this head for um, the gig with the swing commanders when all our gear got stolen, and for some reason every time I played a C with that head and that little cab, it was just going. Whoa. So like, I'll be playing like again some, some, some more uh, EDM wobble bass. Oh man, it was like kind of you know. It was uh, and we couldn't figure out what it was. It's like what's feeding, what's feeding, but it yeah. was like a physical thing. I don't know. It was just it's like the cab was actually kind of uh, shaking itself. Um, so at twelve. Let's knock that up. Sweep that. Yeah, um, yeah. So. This is this is kind of why I bought it really because uh, at the time I didn't really have many <laughs> at the time I didn't really have any pedals I've not been uh, led astray by you lot. <laughs> um, so reverb I'll put it at quarter two. And that's a digital reverb, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. you set it in terms of it what depends what I'm doing because it can be quite um, obviously I, I have a I say obviously uh, I have, I have <laughs> a, a strand flint as well which is reverb and tremolo yeah. and you can kind of control the decay and stuff on that which is quite useful so this yeah. it can it's nice if you're doing a you know that kind of swelly kind of thing but it can get a bit um, but I mean, I'd probably have it, depending on what I'm doing, I'm probably a bit somewhere in between half and I think somewhere in between 12 o'clock and, and then one or two. Cool. So, so why don't you set it up how you would do on, say, like uh, the whole, whole amp? I guess, well, I'll try and like back a little bit of the bass off, depending on what if, oh, well. Different with this guitar, obviously, because I'm usually using like a whole body or something. But I'd probably set it somewhere around here. Um, 
but actually I don't know really get the trouble with the touch. Oh and volume wise we're really quite quiet. I mean this is I'm talking over it. Over yeah, it. It's, it's not you know it's not like a, a you know, an obnoxious yeah use a lot of noise too though. Yeah. The other thing of course is that you can um, you can drop this down like with the 30 which we'll come on to. You can uh, drop this down into low power mode which cuts the volume wattage by some figure that we haven't remembered to look up. <laughs> um, and then does it also have single ended switch on yeah. there? Yeah, there's a little which once like again that. drops it down by a figure we don't know. <laughs> I did it on mine actually, I don't know yours though. I mean, I'm the worst guy for this kind of stuff. Yeah. But um. But yeah. Um, I like it. Well, t should we do some? Um, should we just kick some pedals on and? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. And see and see how it sort of. So what kind of thing? I mean, you you. I'll just quickly go through the board. Um, so I've got uh, one plur ego, one plur tumnus, one plur dual fusion, JHS Andy Timmons. Uh, Put CAE, Brad, Bradshaw, Wa, and then a Strymon timeline. Um, let's try the dual fusion on the right side. That's the only, the only side I use. Yeah. It, and so this is interesting then. So let's let's do the usual trick of rolling the tone mostly off and noon on the uh, volume and drive. Do the tumnus on the clean and see if we can see if we can get some um, sweet tumnus so action. Try and do the. Uh...
Sweet. Looking cool. Yeah, let's uh, Trim oh, switch up. We've got 30 seconds and it'll cut off anyway. So yeah, we'll swap it over and do, do the 30. Awesome. See you in a sec. Okay, so we're back and we've wired up the V30 now to the 2x12. Switch around. Yeah. <coughs> and um, so, yeah, I'll just we'll go through some of the kind of thing, really. Um, I tend to use the overdrive channel sometimes, but also I'll use pedals in the front for my drive sounds as well. Do you um, do the thing of like clean, you know, where, yes. where would the overdrive in here come in terms of the, you've got clean and then overdrive yeah. and then that, and then I, that with overdrive and then... I have a, a very flexible palette of overdrive sounds. <laughs> Um, it can never be so I can run it purely I can get everything I need overdrive just off the pedals and the clean or I right. can get it off of like um, a slight overdrive with the clean and then the, the, the main drive channel on that for the heavy stuff or any kind of anything in between at the moment I'm leaning more towards just using pedals for full shred yeah because right. with those boxes as we'll go through them again in the yeah, moment yeah. it's possible um, so um, yeah I mean this, this tends to be quite high gain really so right. for the heavier stuff. So I'll set, um, I'll kind of set the cleanup to how I use it then. Okay. So for me, again, I, like that treble is just too much. So I tend to roll it off quite a bit to sort of there. Flute metal territory. I'm renowned for my flute metal time on the phone. My Ron Burgundy. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then I kick the mid up and bring the bass down a bit, and then I get this. That's pretty much how I set mine when I'm playing a hollow body. Right. Um, so for that pure clean sort of tone, and in fact that's not, is it? Because. I've got this in low power mode at the moment, so it's getting less headroom and it's crunching up a little bit. I would normally gigs have it in high power mode, but you can hear when I hit it hard and dig in. It's just on the just edge of break. Cusp. Um, but in high power mode, it wouldn't be doing so until I was at more sort of to getting towards three, um, three o'clock on the, on the drive. So, yeah, that's how I tend to set it up. Again, it depends on the room, but um, yeah. So high, mid, low, treble, low bass. Maybe, again, I don't mind a bit more bass, actually. It's, uh... it, sounds, it sounds great, where then this would come in, messing with it would come in, so in this case then maybe the, it's a compromise, so you know with a single shared EQ I guess it always is, but... Yeah, so that's, again, the, the actual gain there is only at like 10 o'clock. Yeah. It's still crazy levels of gain. So if I back it off a little bit... And then at the other extreme, take it up past, I mean, this is at 12 o'clock. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's half cooked. Half, half cooked as well, yeah. So that's the overdrive channel um, and kind of how I set it. Uh, still so much bass. <laughs> on um, on pedal wise with that overdrive channel ah, like kick right. like the tumulus on or exactly so I'd use the ego compressor and the tumulus right. uh, in this so I normally not have a gain quite so I'd have it around 10 or 11 and as a, like a very very thick <laughs> Single core pickups, I, was, um, I have it a little higher as well because this does not quite as much. Yeah, but yeah. if I set the tumnus to 10 o'clock, that's off. My hips gone funny. I've got like <laughs> cramp in my, my arse bone. Leave me down. <laughs> Medic. <laughs> ah, it's better. Oh. Um. Hopefully it's recording well, <laughs> as good as it sounds in the room. It's never a problem, but yeah. <coughs> so that is how I use it. So Tumnus and Ego with the overdrive. And again, that's only on like 10 or something. It's ridiculous. So back to clean. So this is really where it's at, isn't it? Because your, yours, yours is much more of a clean amp, really. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I think that's where it shines. Um, I think that my mind is still on the fact that that is a better, probably, platform for pedals. Yeah, I mean, better... I, think, I think the pedals both sound great through both amps. I think it just depends what you're after. Yeah, I mean, the as, a, as a quick... Uh, here's, the, here's the Andy Timmons on my clean channel. Sounds great, but I think it's still always going to have that little bit more sweeter um, acceptance of pedals than, than mine. Yeah, oh, gosh, my feel is still up. Another man there. Down, down. Down, down. Like, when I got mine, it was kind of like, there's two amps there, they're both, they're both the same price. They're pretty much identical Pretty price, much yeah. the same price. Um, but this has got a few voice in switches, you've got the voice one and two, you've got the mid kick. You had a built-in reverb, which pretty much sold me just because I didn't have a lot of pedals at the time and I just wanted something that I could just like plunk down, mm. plug in, pretty much done, you know? Um, Jobs are good enough. sold it for me, but I mean, get them both. Yeah, well, that, that <laughs> looks so cool, doesn't it? I mean, if you had a 4x12, a stereo 4x12, you could have both heads and switch oh, between them. That'd be, uh, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? But um, clean and dirty. Well... We're about to die with battery, and um, battery's about to die, and I'm not professional enough to have bought more batteries. Sorry, Tom. He tells me off every time. Yeah. Um, so this was just a little bit of a, a, bit kick of a kickabout, really. Yeah, just you know? um, the so last we'll, time you would have seen Dan and I, we would have uh, we were even less professional than this. So, uh, <laughs> uh, we had temp we had kicked toward the idea of doing drunken gear reviews, but uh, it doesn't yeah, do good for our reputation. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, uh, this has just been a bit of a mess about. So if if you know, yeah, well, let us know what you think if we were to do anything more like this. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, we're always getting, clearly always getting new toys, so we've always yeah, got to, to like, look, you know, sort of talk about. <coughs> Where can people uh, discover more about Dan? Uh, <laughs> I'm still trying to discover more about Dan. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm in the process of getting a website sorted, but um, Dan Smith on Facebook, or yeah. through the guitar, or, or through one of these guys, or swingcommanders.com, my uh, mm -hmm. Western swing band. 
And uh, yeah, you can search for more about me. Um, I have a very temporary placeholder website, davidbb.com at the moment. Um, obviously, if you're watching this, you're probably on my YouTube channel or somewhere. Um, so subscribe to me on YouTube. I'm um, on YouTube as well. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, quite, it's getting quite dusty and neglected. It is. Search for us on Facebook. That's probably the best thing, the guitar hour. And watch us every week, Thursday, 7.30. Got BST. BST, BST, whatever. Is that like some BST. sort of cow disease or something? Uh, maybe. Um, ah, and there we go. Thank mm -hmm. you.